friends welcome to my channel once again today i shall find the fourier series expansion of a function which is you can see here modulus sin x and the interval is minus pi to pi so let's start and see how to get the fourier series expansion so we know if we want to do a fourier series expansion which it can be written like this this is the formula well known formula you know that however if we have one uh, symmetric function or even function then we don't need to find this term bn term because it would be zero and if it is odd then cos n this term will be zero so let's see we have the function here as fx is equal to modulus sin x and you know this is a uh, symmetric function even function so if you plot this in this range it will look like this so this is minus pi to pi yeah so this is a symmetric function and uh, you can check it yourself also so uh, this for this uh, we can write this like this so just mod sin x can be written as a0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx because this term will vanish because of its symmetry or even function because it's it is even function so now we have to find this a0 a0 uh, is found by this formula so here is the limit and it will be mod of sin x dx now since mod sin x is an even function we can modify this integral like this 2 by pi 0 to pi sin x dx this is just because of the symmetry so we find this and we know it will be minus cos x 0 to pi and if you evaluate what you can get this will be um, minus of minus 1 and eventually it will be 1 so this is actually 4 y pi right so we have found a0 which is 4 uh, 4 y pi and obviously a0 by 2 will be 2 y pi now our task is to find a n so a n would be uh, 1 by pi minus pi to pi mod sin x cos n x dx again due to the symmetry we just write like this well uh, now you know from trigonometry that sin a cos b how can you write this it's half of uh, sin a plus b plus sin a minus b so here uh, sin x cos nx so this is uh, b this nx and this is a so we can write this sin um, n plus 1x that is a plus b i mean b plus a and here a minus b will be 1 minus n so uh, we can just add minus here and write n minus 1 x so hope you have understood because sin minus x i mean minus theta is minus sin theta so that's why i have written like this well uh, now we have to use this so a n is equal to 2 by pi 0 to pi 
and uh, here we should write this sin n plus 1x minus sin n minus 1x dx now uh, we can write this 1 by pi mm. now it will be only plus because we already have minus sign here so minus minus plus and we can write like this this is the limit of the integration so you note that this is uh, minus 1 whole to the power n plus 1 and minus 1 divided by n plus 1 this would be uh, minus 1 n minus 1 minus 1 n minus 1 which can be written as 1 Now note that if n is uh, if n is an even number, then one minus minus one whole to the power n plus one. Uh, what will be the this? So this part will be negative. So you can see this will be two one minus of minus one. So that is two and uh, what about this uh, one minus that would also be two right however if uh, if n is an odd number then 1 minus 1 whole to the power n plus 1 will be 0 and uh, 1 minus, uh, minus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 will be also 0. So for n being an odd number this terms will vanish for odd numbers however only we will get uh, these values for when uh, n is an even number. So you can write So for uh, n will have non zero values only when n is an even number for n being an odd number n will be equal to 0 so we can write like this so n we can write uh, we got 2 by pi so 1 Mm, this minus one minus this so n square minus one you know, and n minus one minus n minus one that is minus four pi times n square minus one so this is the value for a n now, uh, since uh, we have found that a n uh, will exist only for uh, even numbers, so 
we can do some trick but we side uh, before that we just write mod sin x uh, is a0 by 2 which is now 2 by pi you remember 4 by pi was a0 so we write 2 a0 by 2 is 2 by pi and uh, here and now we do this modification cos 2nx now you can start from 1 n equal to 1 and it would be 2n whole square that is 4n square minus 1 so this should be the Fourier series expansion of uh, modulus of sin x in the range of minus pi to pi hope uh, you have understood this problem and uh, if you have liked this video then just consider subscribing my channel and give me a thumbs up besides that i already have uploaded several uh, videos on fourier series expansions you can check in my channel and uh, i also did the uh, fourier series expansion for mod cos and other important functions and also laplace transformation and fourier series transformation as well so you just check my channel Thanks a lot for watching.